Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about how to reuse the step motor inside the floppy drive. The step motor is around less than two centimeters length. Uh, it is very old now because floppy is very hard to find the floppy drive in the market right now. This is the, the floppy. And um, if you break everything up, in fact, the step motor inside is just like this. And sometimes you will find your uh, step motors come with a gear pack. This is uh, another version. Um, but the most common thing version is like this. So today I'm going to tell about the easiest way to set up this step motor. So this is part of my project. As you can see, uh, I already break down this floppy drive and also leave the uh, step motors here. And the inside the step motor, and also I hook up to Lego pieces, and at the end of Lego pieces is a servo. So by moving this one back and forth, hopefully I can generate some movement for my uh, project. In order to drive this step motor, I find out the easiest way to use is a CNC shield. This is a CNC shield that made for Gobble, GRBL. So in order to run the GRB latest version, this is a nano. So I reflash the nano to be Uno. I can uh, have this 1.1H, the latest version, gobble inside. Since this shield come with X, Y, Z, and I really don't need Y and Z. I just need one. So I just put a 1A4988 here. And uh, in order to drive by step motor. So this is the meter. As you can see, I uh, I start to uh, measure the reference here. It's around 0 0.25 voltage. This is a V reference. I think this kind of voltage is good for uh, this kind of small step motors. So the Arduino is feeding the 12 volt by my uh, my voltage converter. So right now it's 11.7. You have to take these step motors out from this uh, plate in order to solder the four uh, connectors. I believe this is the bipolar motors, but I'm really not sure since this is too old and I really can't find the parts number. The four pins, I just solder them one by one. Let's say one, two, three, four. So once I connect it to here, the X axle of the CNC shield. So I connect it to as one, three, two, four. That is the connection. As you can see, the circuit connection is not that hard. It's just four wires. Just set it up on the CNC X axle. If you have some other pins, you really don't need uh, the rest of the CNC shield because this is for a uh, gobble project for the CNC uh, router, CNC printer, or CNC uh, 3D printer, something like that. In fact, to, to me, it's like, you see, I have those uh, step motor motors. I have four pins. So if you can see here, I hook up to the rest of the Z, X limit, Y limit, Z limit, and also uh, the, the spindle. Uh, so that makes the pin 9, 10, 11, and 12. And there are some other pin as well. So you can use for another servo, which I put it there. Eventually I will hook up to it. So basically the using of this CNC shield, the purpose of that is just to drive these uh, step motors from the old floppy drive. All right, let's give a, give a test. So on the computer side, I already opened up this gobble controller 3.6.1. As you can see, I already opened the connection to this gobble uh, the program which, which I burned on this uh, Nano Uno version. The next, what I should do is just use this X and uh, back and forth to test my idea if it works or not. If you are on the sketch programming side and if you write to D2, which is uh, X steps, and also if you write to uh, uh, pin 8, that is uh, X enable and uh, a pin 5, which is the direction uh, and going back and forth, which is uh, left and uh, right arrow here. So let's focus on this uh, step motor to see uh, uh, how it works. On the other side, I start to press the right side shift. 
as you can see that it moves. I see here, right? And if you path left, it will move backwards. All right, this is what so far I find the most easiest way to drive this step motor by using a uh, Garbo uh, CNC shield. If you look at today's market, the Garbo CNC shield plus A4988, that is so cheap. To make an old floppy step motor work, you can just go simply buy one. All right, that is the end of today's tutorial. If you like my video, please give a thumb up or just leave your comments or subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.